Not the world's greatest husband, his name is Keith. I love you. I just got home from work and my wife wasn't there. Do you guys believe that she was kidnapped? It's a wonderful, wonderful life with you. Nobody would have ever imagined that this would have blown up the way that it did. Keith Papini and his wife Sherry Papini had an ideal family life until Sherry vanished from their home in Northern California. Her disappearance set off a national search that turned into headline news around the world. She turned up 22 days later claiming she was kidnapped. The whole thing turned out to be a hoax and Keith Papini is breaking his silence on the case. It's all featured in the new Hulu docuseries, Perfect Wife, The Mysterious Disappearance of Sherry Papini. And Keith uh, joins us now. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, we got a little bit of a delay. So let me ask you this first question. You had said that when you first saw her, you thought she might be lying. But I think baked into that is you must have thought there was a motive for her to, to be lying. What was that? Yeah, it's a great question. Um, Realistically, it was just unfounded that someone that was gone for 22 days would just mysteriously pop up in the middle of I-5. So, um, you know, those first 15 days were excruciating, thinking that, uh, you know, she was kidnapped. And then there was some chatter that, you know, what if she would have ran off? So going into that, when I saw her in the hospital, um, you know, it was definitely something that I thought of. I didn't know which way it was going to go. Um, and seeing her face, you know, being my wife for so long, I just, the way she looked at me, it was almost as if she was caught. And I can, I can imagine anyone mm -hmm. who's been married, you, you just can't believe that your spouse would be lying about something like this. You stayed with your wife up until right before her, the trial. Um, you said she was incredibly convincing. Were there doubts in that time before the trial? Yeah, there was little things uh, here and there, but um, nothing that I ever, there was nothing I could ever pinpoint. I mean, she had the scars, she had the story, she had the injuries, she had the sheriff's office, the FBI convinced, the doctors. Um, so it was, it was very difficult for me to turn my back on that. Um, again, I love my wife, the mother of my children, and I wanted to support her in every way I could. So is the motive here, do you think, that she just wanted some kind of attention from you, or did she want to be with the ex and not appear as a cheater? What, what are your thoughts? Um, I don't believe she wanted to be with her ex. Um, if I'm only speculating. I, I don't know the answer to that, but I, I would assume she wanted to have a like a knight in shining armor situation where I come and save the day and um, I, and I also think she enjoyed the attention. Mm. So she went to jail for 18 months. She's now out of prison. Have you been in contact with her? What is the situation like now? She is now your ex-wife. I'm assuming she still has contact with your children to some degree. Yeah, we don't contact each other outside of setting up visitation or setting up phone calls with the kids. Um, outside of that, um, with the occasional courtroom visit, um, that's that's the extent of our communication together. So what was it that turned it for you? Was it the trial? You're like, this, this is actually a lie, and then that was it, and your world collapses? Um, no, it was actually before that. Um, on 4-11-2022 is when I found out the, the truth. Um, and uh, that's when I took steps to file for divorce right after that. But uh, I think the level of evidence that I required as her husband, as the person that stood by her and mm. believed all the things, um, I think that was probably higher. You say that you think maybe she wanted this kind of odd special attention from you, which seems kind of strange. 
you know, in, in, a, in a healthy relationship. Looking back, do you see signs that maybe she was a bit off that you missed? You know, it's hard now to look back and go through every single thing with the lens, uh, knowing what I know now. Um, there was definitely some attention seeking behaviors prior, but uh, I really, I think it's just too difficult to go back on every single thing. I did think she was in love with me. I thought we had a happy marriage and a happy life. And I was so adamant that this couldn't have been a hoax uh, when it went when it went down because I thought at the end of the day, how could a mother you know leave her children? And I, I just never fathomed that that was an option. I am sure it was devastating, and to your children as well. Do they know the story, or have they been kept in the dark? I don't remember how old they were when this happened. Yeah, so the kids were very young. Um, they were uh, two and four, just barely turned two and four. And they're aware, um, but they don't know the full story. And they're, uh, they won't, they're not old enough to watch the documentary. Um, but they, they're aware that she lied and, and went to prison. But they don't know the, the vast details that go along with it. Well, we wish you all the best, and thanks for sharing your story. And if you'd like to see the Hulu documentary, it's in three parts. It's called Perfect Wife, The Mysterious Disappearance of Sherry Papini. It begins streaming on Hulu this Thursday, June 20th. And again, all three parts will be released on the same day. Keith, thanks so much for being with us. Thanks, Keith. Thank you. We'll be right back.